Okay, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Git and use the basics. The first thing you want to do is go to github.com and uh, just create an account. Um, you can pause the video while you do that. Okay, so I'm assuming that you created the account. So don't worry about that just yet. Um, and go to terminal and install Git. Okay, now from here you just want to update and upgrade just to be safe. And then you're going to want to run these three config um, commands. Uh, this simple one, the only the alternative to this is matching. Uh, don't really worry about this too much. This is the new default, so just run this line of code. Um, it'll save you from getting some sort of uh, suggestion message later on when you try and push. Uh, the next config you want to run is you just want to run all of this and inside these quotes change it to whatever username uh, you created for your github and the same thing with your email here okay so when you're finished with that you want to clone your repository so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a repository so I'm gonna call this one new repo test you can call it anything you want. Uh, say this is a test repo. You probably noticed when you were creating your account, you had the option to pay for um, like seven private repositories. Don't worry about that unless you want to spend the money. Um, and we're going to initialize this with a README. And basically, a README is just going to be, um, you know, a text file that tells people what your code does or how they can contribute or anything that you want to let people know about it. Alright. And from here, we want to clone. So, let's just copy this and go back to terminal, git clone. Actually, before we do that, um, we're going to create a directory to um, basically house uh, your repository here. So, let's a directory. Uh, we'll call it repo. Repo directory. Alright, so. Alright. Now, we're going to want to clone it into here. So get clone. Okay. And so now you'll notice we'll see new repo test, which is what I called this repo here. And we'll go in there. Um, and here you'll see our README file right there. Okay, so let's create something here, and we're gonna whatever we create here, we're gonna push onto our repository on GitHub. So let's create um, some file dot pi or Oops. Touch some file dot pi. Okay, and now we just want to get add star, and that star is read as all. So you're just going to put this in every single time you push. Um, so get add all is how that should be read. Then you want to get commit your changes here and flag M that stands for message um, and you're gonna wanna leave just some message it doesn't matter what it should be it, you know ideally it should be um, detailing what you did to the code if you added a new file something along the, or if you fix something so some message okay and it tells us here what changed insertions that'll usually look a lot bigger um, and now, before we do the next line here, alright, so you want to just run this right here. Uh, git config global credential helper dot store or dot helper store. Um, what this will do is every single time you push, you're going to have to enter your username and password. If you put this before the first time you push, um, you will only have to enter your username and password once which is a lot easier. 
So just enter that. And then you want to get push. After that, you should probably have to put in some sort of username or password. And it tells us that we pushed master here. So we'll go back and check our master branch. Uh, let's refresh. And there it is, some file.py. So that was just committed. Um, this would be the message here. And so next, let's talk about, OK, branching. All right. So, so right now we're going to type in git branch. And it's going to tell us we're on the master branch. Um, you don't have any other branches yet, so let's create one. So you'll just click on this right here, and we'll call it first branch. All right. All right. So, whoops. First branch will have everything that the master branch has in it at its time of creation. Um, you might want to branch if you want to test something out that you don't necessarily want to add to your master branch or your um, master repository yet. So you'll create a branch and you'll do all your testing there and then later on you can merge it to the master branch. So right now we can only interact with the master branch. So what we'll do is we'll put in this line here, get fetch. This will get the other branches for you. Okay, and see how it noticed first branch here? Okay, and then get check out. So you check out a branch. Um, in this case, we're going to check out first branch. But if you want to get back to the master branch, you need to get check out master branch, or, well, just get check out master. So put that, and it says switch to a new branch, first branch. Okay, so now, get branch, you'll notice the star is right here and first branch is highlighted. So we know any changes we make are only going to be um, committed to that branch. So, let's commit some changes here. All right, um, we can make a directory. Yeah, directory, uh, call it some directory. All right, and if you just pushed this with the new directory, you actually won't see anything show up over here. Uh, the directory needs to be populated with something to actually show up over here. So what we'll do is go in there. We'll um, create some file called, I don't know, new file, .py, okay, that's in there, alright, now git add all, git commit, um, second message, All right, it has our changes there, and what we'll do now is just push it up. Okay, so you'll notice this time it says first branch here. So now, if we go here, and we're already in first branch, some directories in there with new file.py inside of it. Now if we go to the master branch, that's not in there. So the new changes were only committed to that branch. So to actually merge uh, this test branch with uh, the master branch, you want to click new pull request. All right. You'll have your base master compared to first branch. It'll tell you here able to merge. Um, they don't have any file conflicts because we didn't change anything inside of if you would have changed something inside of uh, some file dot pi on the first one and then changed something different in first branch in some file dot pi and those 
files conflicted, um, you'll probably get an error message here. But these ones are able to merge, so we'll create that pull request. Okay, and now we'll merge the pull request. Uh, confirm. Okay. Now if you go back to your test repo here, inside master, well let's check first branch first. Alright, you'll have everything here in first branch and everything will be committed here to the master branch. So that's how you merge two branches. And yeah, okay. Now there's also git pull. So if you have multiple people working on one uh, repository here, you would want to pull. So what we'll do is let's check out the master branch again. So git branch see those, git, check out uh, master, okay. and then we'll just make sure we're on it. You should always make sure that you're on the branch that you think you're on. Okay, and now we'll do git pull. Alright. Now, so all pulling does is it takes whatever's in here. So say after we did this merge, we didn't you'll notice we didn't have everything inside the master branch in our uh, in our home directories here. So what you'll do is git pull and after you pull it'll take everything from your GitHub repository and it'll put it onto your machine here. So now we have this sum directory and that'll have that new file.py inside of it from our first branch here. And that's basically the basics, so that's all.